Well, you know, peep, the clouds are out in some areas, but we're watching what's going to happen later on today because more than 31 million Americans are in the path of today's total solar eclipse, including those in Dallas, Texas, uh, the area you see right behind me where the sun is up. But the path right here is highlighted. You can see right here to my left, spanning across 15 U.S. states and parts of Canada and also Mexico. Today's event really is a once-in-a-lifetime experience for many. But the view could be blocked out by storm clouds in some areas. Texas is likely to have the heaviest cloud cover with severe weather forecasted for around eclipse time in some parts. Here's a look at the path of totality. The eclipse will begin in Mexico around 11.07 a.m. local time and then will cross over into Texas about 1.27 p.m. and will end in Maine around 3.35. Officials, kind of like in the, in the path of those cities, in the direct path, are issuing warnings right now ahead of the massive amounts of eclipsed tourists that have already arrived in their cities over the weekend. Our national desk partners in Tulsa, Oklahoma, spoke with troopers uh, with the Oklahoma Highway Patrol. Don't drive and take pictures with your cell phone. We respectfully request that you don't stop uh, on the sides of the roads with the infrastructure. Um, with one lane roads, it's going to be difficult getting in and getting out. And a live look at the National Desk Radar for you as well this morning. And you can see that band of storms heading over Middle Tennessee right here. Again, the most cloud cover expected in the Dallas, Texas region. The good news, though, for eclipse watchers who get clouded or even rained out, you can watch our live coverage today on the nationaldesk.com. Tune in between 1 and 4 p.m. Eastern as we track the eclipse from coast to coast. Again, that's online at the nationaldesk.com.